All right, we are back. Uh, and now we're gonna talk about the low cost strategy that I want you guys to relate that with commodity based. And just a quick uh, reminder, we talked about an co average competitor that generates value uh, at the cost. And we have the cost leadership strategy or low cost strategy where you generate the same value to customers, however, at a lower cost, right? And when you think about that, uh, agriculture goods, they are often referred as commodities. Commodities means that uh, it's a non-differentiated product or a fungible uh, good, which means that if you have a soybean here in Illinois, it's the same soybean that you get in Argentina, it's the same soybean that you have in China. So you can replace them uh, within one another. So uh, it's the same product. And because they are non-differentiated, uh, you can think of uh, that because they're the same, they, their price is the same. And uh, farmers here, our case study, they're price takers. We know that we always uh, talk about it. And in the long run, we have prices tending uh, to average costs on uh, commodities. Thus, historically, uh, there has been a big focus of farmers on having this low cost strategy, right? Because they're producing a non-differentiated uh, product. So if they can differentiate, what's left, they have to compete in costs, right? So they have to have their costs below average of their competitors. And here's some uh, of measures that they can do to achieve and maybe sustain this cost advantage. We can think of economies of scale, right? Specialization. Uh, we already talked also about adopting technology to improve efficiency, such as genetics, machinery, pesticides, uh, fertilization strategies. So uh, doing the same with less or doing a little bit more with the same. Uh, capacity utilization here, if you think about your machinery equipment, uh, maybe you can decrease or share your fixed costs uh, by custom farming other farms. Uh, managerial efficiency as well. If you plan more, you might have uh, better results or decrease your costs. Uh, after a time, you can deploy data analysis to make better decisions. You can also try to cut input costs, right? So you can either buy better or utilize inputs better. Those are some of the things that they can do. And if you look at this arrow here down, have on the, on the left side, higher costs, and on the right side, lower costs, and have four farmers uh, over here spread across um, they are producing the same amount but at the different costs or let's say a bushel on different costs here and imagine if a uh, price uh, falls between uh, farmer D and C so uh, farmer C is doing this amount of profit let's say farmer A is doing all this way of profits on the same bushel and farmer D if he doesn't identify those cost drivers and work on that to get it uh, lower, it's probably gonna be out of business soon, right? And after time passes, we see prices moving towards the new average, right? the average cost of production, and Farm C will be also out of business. So uh, it is a strategy that is commonly uh, being placed, but there are also risks associated with that in the long run. Uh, you need to keep a high volume of sales, do thin margins, uh, and also have low cost leaders. that are also uh, always putting, putting emphasis on efficiency, uh, creating a more challenging environment for other players. Uh, those are some risks, but there are more risks associated, but this is a possible strategy. And if you do it well, you might have, uh, your business running successfully on the long run producing commodities.